focus in on Sun TV. It came out with its quarterly performance and it was quite resilient. You had the profits up 99% at 487 crore rupees. The overall EBITDA came in higher by 9% and revenues at 802.5 crore rupees. Uh, in terms of their uh, subscription revenues, that also saw a growth of about 7% on a year-on-year -year basis. Um, this time around, the higher ad and subscription revenues really surprised on the upside. You had uh, um, the OTT as well as Sunnext ramp up, which bodes well in the long term. And there was a little bit of a disappointment due to the dividend payout, despite the 3,800 crore cash on the balance sheet. Um, the future growth seems to be robust. We spoke with SL Narayanan in order to get an outlook as to how the company sees their overall growth prospects going forward. And here's what he had to say. So he's of the view that as of now, they have seen a bit of a revenue degrowth each month uh, due to the pandemic, but gradually that has been recovering as well. So they have managed to uh, this quarter uh, make up for that. And But the question is that we need to see now if that they will manage to outpace the kind of revenue growth that they witnessed in FY20. Now, when it comes to the dividend payout, let's just walk you through the issue. Essentially, the company paid five rupees per share as the total dividend as against 25 rupees per share, uh, which was paid in FY20. This has been the lowest dividend payout in the last um, 11 years. And the management and the company has about 3,800 crore rupees of cash on their balance sheet. And analysts and the overall investor community was uh, was hoping uh, that you know the board would approve a buyback in order to flush out the excess of um, the balance sheet. So here's what Mr. Narayanan had to say. He said that from FY11 to FY20, they have distributed around 5,700 crores, but it's due and the dividend payout ratio has never fallen below 50% since um, FY11. But it's due to the uncertain environment in, in businesses that they've seen a low dividend payout. And in terms of investments, they are extremely bullish on the years ahead. In fact, they're making investments in high quality content. And he did say that the board will take up the issue of the dividend payout and payout surplus. They're very confident on their subscription revenue growth. They see double digit subscription revenues in FY22 and expect that smartphone penetration will also drive this growth. Sunrise as Hyderabad or the IPL franchise that grew 12% last year despite it being truncated and they believe that the second wave has definitely impacted it but it's anyone's guess now as to when we can see things improve. They have nearly 22 million digital subscribers and look to keep growing. The content investments as well have doubled over the last four years and they will be spending on content creation as well as their OTT platform. They'll spend a thousand crores on movie production, around four to five hundred crores on satellite and digital rights. And he said that the shareholders' interests will best be served by growing their top line, their ROE uh, and um, their overall business.